personality. What is it? Are we born with it? Or does the environment affect it? How does it develop? Does it change over time? Can we measure and study it? What makes you, you? These are some of the questions psychologists have struggled to answer. Debate is still continuing today. Some have defined personality as an individual's consistent patterns of feeling, thinking, and behaving. Psychologists have studied personality as a way to try to predict or explain behavior. In this section, we will discuss some of the theories of personality that have arisen in the last century. We'll look at the ideas of influential psychologists in three different approaches. The psychoanalytic theories, humanistic theories, and trait theories of personality. The psychoanalytical approach to personality and behavior was founded by Sigmund Freud. Other important psychologists using this approach were Alfred Adler and Carl Jung, both early followers of Freud. Psychoanalysts believe that personality is controlled by our subconscious thoughts, from experiences we cannot even consciously remember. In this way, our personality has been shaped by our past experiences, so we're really not in control of it. The humanistic approach to personality and behavior started to gain footing in the 1960s. In contrast to psychoanalytical theories, this approach suggested humans have free will. In this view, you are not stuck with an unchangeable personality, but are able to make decisions and changes to your thinking patterns. It is these underlying motivations that will contribute to your personality. Abraham Maslow and Carl Rogers are well-known humanist personality figures whose personality theories we will study later in detail. The trait theory approach to personality started as a rejection of the popular psychoanalytical and humanistic views. This view incorporates many different ideas. Trait theory suggests that personality can be studied and described using a selection of traits. In this view, traits are defined as relatively enduring characteristics that influence our behavior across many situations. It was started by Gordon Alport. He came up with a list of over 4,000 adjectives that describe personality. Other trait psychologists, including Raymond Cattell, narrowed this la list down to a few basic traits, which can be assigned to people in an attempt to describe their personality. While most of these theorists suggest that all people might be described by all traits, they propose that a few traits would be more dominant in different in individuals. Modern personality tests usually use lists of questions that you would answer about yourself. By analyzing your answers, you can be assigned a general description of your personality. Proponents of this approach would suggest that you will be able to use this information to understand your behavior and why you act the way you do. Or perhaps you might even be able to make decisions about your own future. In the next lesson, we will discuss in detail the theorists and their theories and compare and study personality tests.